industrial progress and economic growth was fired by what many seem to look on as endless energy. Oil is finite, natural gas is finite, coal, uranium, so there's going to be a peak for all of these, and peak oil is just the beginning. Right now, we're consuming about five barrels of oil for every one that we discover. I don't see that countries who depend largely on imported oil are thinking about alternative sources of energy. They are just planning for the next week. The effect on our culture could be extreme. Our economy and our way of life are based on consuming oil and other fossil fuels. We're flying blind. And so we need examples of what's the best way to do it, what's, what's not so good. And Cuba has already undergone a kind of energy famine. In 1990, everything changed. There was nothing. It was really a crash. Buses stopped running, factories closed, electricity blackouts were common, and food was scarce. People almost starved. We were desperate for everything. We just need food. It doesn't matter what you bring, we will buy it. How they can survive if they don't have anything? Ah, okay, come here and you can see how we can survive. When this all began, it was a necessity. People had to oh. start cultivating vegetables wherever they could. Crises or changes or problems can trigger uh, many of these things. We are adapting to changes, and that's the success of the human beings.